finding the shaded and unshaded region, you will be asked to find the fraction that represents the shaded region. and the fraction that represents the unshaded region. Recall that one whole square is interpreted as one whole. There is another whole. This is another whole unit. Let's see what each little part in the box represents. So each little part in the square that we have will be represent as because we have one square and it's dividing divided into four pieces each of them is one four or one quarter so if we know that so this part here will be one fourth this part here will be one fourth one fourth one fourth each of them will be one fourth Now, what are they asking us for? They're asking us to find what fraction represents the shaded part. Now, look at the shaded part. We have one full square or one full box, right? And another full square. So we have two of them. So we have two holes and one little square which represents one fourth, so it's two and one fourth will be the shaded region. Now, what about the unshaded region? Remember that each of them represents one fourth, so how many unshaded part we have? One, two, three, so three fourths. Be careful here. Student says we have three of them out of what? Out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, out of twelve. Okay no be careful here this is wrong okay this is a common error as students we make so it will be one four another one four and another one four which will make three fourths 